Newspapers reported last weekend that two councillors, both Muslims, who had just been elected to the Municipal Corporation of Delhi on the Congress ticket, had declared that they were joining the Aam Admi Party. But within 24 hours, they had to eat their words and had to return to the Congress fold. How did this miracle happen? As we know, the MCD election results were declared on December 4. Out of the 250 seats in the MCD council, the Ahmadmi party won 134 and the BJP won 04. The Congress got a measly nine seats. The MCD election was largely a bipolar affair. The BJP had been in control of MCD for the last 15 years. And Ahmadmi party has been ruling over Delhi state for last eight years. It posed an effective challenge and came up trumps this time. The Congress could win only a few seats where Muslims constituted a majority of the voters. For most Muslim voters in Delhi, the Congress was the preferred choice compared to the Ahmadmi party. Many of them did not consider or intend to support PJP as the ruling party's majoritarian agenda is quite clear. The ruling party has stubbornly refused to nominate Muslims in any election in the country, even as Muslims constitute 15 percent of the population of our country. But the BJP has been riding a Hindu vote bank to achieve spectacular electoral success. The so-called secular parties like the Congress and the Ahmadmi party to take two specific examples in Delhi which were accused of minority appeasement had to change tack in the face of aggressive Hindutva campaign. Earlier, these parties had taken the Hindu vote for granted. But with BJP's strong Hindutva pitch, these parties realized that minority appeasement politics should backfire. That's why their answer to the BJP was soft Hindutva. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi and Ahmadmi party leader Arvind Kejriwal began visiting temples. Rahul Gandhi displayed his janeu to reinforce his Hindu credentials. Arvind Kejriwal recited Hanuman Chalisha to tell the world how much of a devout Hindu he is. In the process, both the Congress and the Aam Aadmi Party refused to raise the issue of communally polarizing campaign of the BJP, lest they lose Hindu votes. It was a race between the Aam Aadmi Party and the Congress who could stoop to what level to win Hindu hearts, but at the same time not to be called communal the way the BJP is often targeted. In this race, the Ahmadvi party decided to make a very clear ideological shift. It said it would not open its lips on any issues affecting the Muslims in particular. When the rapists of Bilkis Bano were released 
and secular India rose in protest, Arbin Kejriwal and company kept their lips sealed. When hot mints of Muslims were being bulldozed in Delhi and different parts of Uttar Pradesh, Kejriwal looked the other way. But the Congress did not go that far in its quest for retaining the Hindu vote. The Congress leaders spoke against the release of the rapists. And they also spoke up against singling out Muslims, especially their hearts, for demolition. It's true that the voice of the Congress leader has been relatively feeble compared to what it was in the past. But at least they have not abandoned the minority community completely in their quest for a slice of the 85% of Hindu vote. That's why a major section of Muslims in Delhi have by and large jettisoned the AAP and cast their lot with the Congress. That explains the Congress success in the few seats in Delhi where Muslims had a decisive say in the MCD election. But two councillors who got elected on the Congress ticket felt they could personally stand to gain by joining hands with the Amadmi party, which has taken control of the MCD this time. They thought they would be able to sell the idea to their constituents that by joining the ruling party, they would be in a better position to serve the constituents better. But they had not bargained for the wrath of the Muslim families who had voted for them in good faith. The Muslim voters rose in revolt. The councillors had to flee to save their lives. Voters made it very, very clear that they elected leaders should not be allowed to enter the area. They would be forced to resign as councillors. The anger was so palpable that these two Muslim councillors went to the social media tendering an unqualified apology for announcing the earlier decision of defection to the AAP. They made a public declaration that they would serve the people in their word faithfully as Congress councillors for the entire term. Here is a case where people's voice mattered. We must salute the voters of Mustafawad who showed the defectors their true place. Thank you.